you're going to love this story. Yeah. Um, Mike owed me a favor. Mike Milberg? Yeah, big favor. Right. So I had a good relationship with Mike. So Mike, when he's with the Islanders, Spano, remember when John Spano was there? Sure. Spano was basically taking over the team, and, and he didn't like Mike. Oh. Okay? So he didn't like Mike, and as soon as he took over, he made Mike with GM coach. He's made Mike step down as coach. Rick Bonus became the coach, right. and Mike became the GM. Well, Spano was going to blackmail Mike. Oh. Yeah. So I knew these couple of girls that were a little risque. This one girl, Lee, she tells me she's sleeping with Spano. Oh. And I'm like, really? And she goes, yeah. She goes, I'm at all your games, right? You, am I okay to talk about this? Yes, absolutely. Yes, keep going. This, this is good. kind of some juicy stuff, man. Like, we love it. So what's that? We love it. Keep going. Yeah, keep so going. then, so then Spano, so I'm like going, she tells me that she, they got the Garden City Hotel. Spano's got it all set up and he's going to get Mike on tape and then he's going to get rid of him because he had just signed a five-year deal. So Mike Milber's got another, he's got an affair going on and Spano's got an affair going on. No, well, he, he Mike might have had his on, but this is what these girls are. No, these girls, the girl Lee was with John oh, okay. Spano. Right. She's telling me her and her friend Jennifer, who I know both, right. they're kind of going to put on a little bit of a show and then uh, hopefully get Mike with his hands in the cookie jar, basically. Oh, oh, probably, okay. Right? Oh, okay. So I tell Mike just off the cuff at oh, the rink. I say, Mike, I said, I don't know what's going on with you and Spano, but I'm like, if you're ever around these girls, Lee and Jen, just be careful. Right. So this all is, I tell this is back when you're playing with the Islanders. Yeah. So he owes you this favor now, Mike Milbury does. Well, yeah, because what happened was all of a sudden the trade deadline's coming on and fucking all of a sudden he calls me in. I'm on the ice and bonus is like, Mike wants to see you. I'm like, for what? Right. He goes, you take off your skates and go to his office. I'm like, the whole way, I'm like, does he know about this? Does he know about that? I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong, right? All right. So I get in his office. He goes, sit down. I'm like, what's up? He goes, thank you. I'm like, for what? He goes, it happened. So he told me what happened to the room. Oh. And he walked out. He just said, told John he wasn't into it. He goes, I owe you a big favor. If I'm ever in a position to give you a contract, I will. That kind of was it. Oh, wow. Moved on. Now, fast forward to two years now playing hockey. Yeah. My agent calls me. He goes, there's about five teams interested in signing you. Florida Panthers being one, right? And then the Islanders. Is that right? Yeah. So then, so I agreed to sign with Florida. With Florida, I was making nine hundred one way, right. and right at the end of my career, really, which was still pretty good, right? Yeah, definitely. Now, are you totally cleaned up now? You're off the drinking. Yeah. Well, yeah, but no, I'm not. Here's right. the thing: I I cleaned my act up for the summer to get in the shape, right? To get back in the playing shape. Right. Did all that, worked hard, got myself back in the game shape and or playing shape. Then I had to go back into the substance abuse program, and I didn't oh. know. Oh. Then I'm like, well, Jesus, I don't want to not drink. I don't want to, I'm like, Jesus, my, do I have enough money, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, fucking sign with Florida. And then Mike calls me up, and he's like, because Mike matched everything Florida did, right. right? And then Mike goes to me, he's like, I said, well, fuck. I said, Mike, Jackie doesn't want to go back to New York because of my fucking shenanigans. Oh. So I'm going to Florida. Thank you for the offer, right? right. Blah, blah, blah. Then I just, a day before I was about to leave for training camp, I went out and I did a bunch of coke and, and I called Mike Keenan and I said I wasn't good to play. I was retiring with an injury, career-ending injury. Yeah, wow. September 12th. So you had $900,000 on the table and you decided to do the coke instead of taking yeah. 900000 okay. Yeah, so yeah. You, so the, I, I basically, 900, 900 one way, I think it was, and then another, it's like I had like it's almost like a three-year deal. Oh, okay. And I basically fucking walked away from it and then... Then Mike called me. I was walking into Costco about two weeks after I had announced my retirement or whatever. Calls me up. And he goes, uh, what are you doing? I said, I'm going into Costco. He's like, well, he goes, I'm giving you another offer. I'm like, what? He goes, I'll pay you to be an ambassador for the team. at I think it was 250 a year or something like that or 125. 150. 150 and 200 and for a three-year deal to be an ambassador. Back in New York. And I said, back in New York. And I said, well, what do you mean back? He goes, well, he goes, you'll be an ambassador for the team. You have to come to New York. I'm like, Mike, fucking Jackie wouldn't go for 900. Do you think she's going to go? I said, you still owe me. <laughs> wow. That was kind of it. So. So you